First off, before we get started, happy birthday to Pop, the goat of all goats. But uh, I know you're here for a J.K. Dobbins film session. Let's get started. Before we get started, um, do me a favor, hit the like button. If by the time you get to the end of this video, you uh, really like what you saw, hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when these videos drop. Uh, some of the lives are random. This one obviously is not live, but it's a random drop anyway. Unpredicted. I just felt like doing it this morning. So um, let's get started. J.K. Dobbins, his senior year at Ohio State. Um, I had him as the second best running back in that class behind uh, Jacobs. But um, I think he's probably going to end up having the better career, I think. In 2019, he played 14 games, had 301 carries, uh, 2,003 yards, 6.7 yards per carry. And that was tremendous output. And, you know, back in, when I was younger, guys with these numbers would have been picked number one, number two. For damn sure wouldn't have gotten to the second round. Moving along to his rookie campaign. Started out as the number three back. He was behind Ingram and uh, Gus Edwards and moved his way up. So in 2020, his rookie campaign, he had played 15 games, didn't have nearly as many carries at 134 carries, had 1,200 less yards, and had um, six yards per carry. But keep in mind, he started as the number three back and worked his way up, worked his way up. So what we're going to do is kind of go back to his the, the peak of his rookie year, which was week 17 versus the Bengals. And look at some runs and kind of see how long, well, not how long, but what what he did to be a special back and really kind of ponder how long it's going to take him to get back to this point. He may be back when he first come back. Uh, it may take him uh, two weeks, six weeks, may not even be this year. I'm not sure. It depends on, you know, everybody's body heals different. And a lot of running back stuff, you'll see it better from the back view. So we'll just talk once we get to this back view. And before we even get to it, his vision and his jump cut is, is second to none. I don't know if we're going to see the jump cut on this one, but just watch his vision and his patience. Run a little counterplay. Look, he could just hit it. In. He could fit right between there and be impatient and then run into blockers. They're just going to slow down. Well, slow down. Let it work. Now, now you're at a point where I can see what's going on. I either I got an option to go this way or this way. Don't have much space because both of them blocked up. Or well, not blocked up, but fit it up. Look at that patience. You got a little slight jump cutting there, but look at the patience. You see this little alley, which is not much of an alley because you got a, a big body sitting right here. It's not much of an alley. But to fit through it, put his head down, cover the ball up, just drive. And that went from... When he decides, okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit this right here. He's just short of the 30, no, the 24 yard line, 25 yard line. By the time he finished driving, with the help of Orlando Brown and Bredesen, he's aiming at the 30. That's another about five yards, another four to five yards. A little power replay. Now we talked yesterday in the live about. Getting J.K. on the edge with you know with two blockers in the um in the uh, counter bash play, but this power read is the same thing for the running back. You know, depending on the read, and we'll talk about a little bit more in the back. But he got an option to get out here with Mark blocking that dude, with him running him off or whoever that is, and him getting out here and doing something. And that's what we get on the outside. You got one on one, and now he gets the opportunity to get in space and work. And that burst. Cause this cat really had an angle. The cat that um right there, he had an angle. The linebacker. This guy right here. He really had an angle on him and JK ate that up. That's the angle right there. If I just come flat, he should beat him. He came, he even pushed the angle back. Still got smoked. Burst. That's what we, you know, that's what's gonna take a minute to come back. That initial, I see it and I'm gone. That's what's gonna take the longest to come back. Again, this is this is power read. They're reading 94. They're reading 94. 
and I'll explain it again. This is the read guy. If he squeezes down, Lamar's just going to get a ball to J.K., and he has, you know, Andrews and the other receiver out there one-on-one. -on -one. If he widens with uh, J.K. doing whatever, the outside zone, Lamar will shuffle, shuffle, keep it, and hit it downhill. He squeezes down, got his shoulders turned. That's a key right there. He got his shoulders turned that way. Had his shoulders been this way, Lamar would have uh, probably kept it. But with those shoulders turned, that's almost a definite give because he can't have his shoulders that way, then flip them all the way around and come back and tackle J.K. So that's a good read. Look at me hit that. That's Chris Moore out there blocking, I think. Oh, no, that's not Chris Moore. I don't know who that is. I forget who number 10 is. Mm. Now we get to see that jump cut. Now we get to see that jump cut. Set, setting stuff up by pressing it, pressing it one direction, then jumping back to you where you want to go. So pressing, pressing this hole right here, pressing it. Set him up because he, you know, this guy thinking, okay, he the way at the angle he was coming. Let me back it up a little bit. At the angle he's coming. He gonna take him on, and I fit right there. The back gonna fit right into me. Well, he pressed it out this way, and when Fifty Six took that, boom, jump cut right there. Boop. Not now, untouched. That's a good job of setting that block up. Good job. I think that's Fluker. Is that Fluker? That's no, not Fluker. It is Fluker. I can't tell. I'm looking at the wrong person. Forget him. We talking about J.K. But anyway, the guy missed the block. And because of the jump cut, it didn't matter. And now he's getting space and do what I do. And even he even used Hollywood's block. This guy's going to start working his way. And Hollywood's going not going to block him, but going to really carry him that way. And he tries to stick it and cut back off Hollywood too. So if, if he executes this still for him, he probably still got more yards to get. No, that wasn't nothing. Well, I gave Hollywood props in. I gave him two props too early. But again, you see what you get the gist of what we're talking about with JK. Yeah, elite vision. Elite vision. If I'm not mistaken, this play was supposed to be in back behind Ricard, if I'm not mistaken. That's supposed to go downhill. Okay, it's going straight downhill. So now he got options. He got there, which looks like the proper option right now. But he gonna jump cut that thing and bend it all the way over here. And look at that getting skinny. Realizing that the hole is not as big as he thought. He don't have much room as he thought. He gets skinny. Look at that. Get sideways. I'm gonna try to fit through there. I don't know if y'all remember, like the older Madden players, the the uh, animation where he kind of turn sideways and scoop through there, then come out full speed. That's what he tried to do. Look like a little side run. But again, this is just a four-yard carry, but it looked like it could have been much of nothing. And he made some out of it. Because they really, look at all the people they got up here. They gap strong. You got a double right there that may, you know, may be the only option, but they gap strong. He ain't dance. He just hit it. Wasn't a lot of dancing. Wasn't a lot of, uh, 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 Bam, go. One step and go. And get what I'm going to get, and we're going to live to fight another day. This is this before we run this play. I know what this play is. Watch the movement these guys get up front before JK even makes his cut. Watch the movement that they that they get up front. Look at that whole wall down to the two yard line. He just made the proper cut. What a lot he had to do there, but the the O line got tremendous movement on this. So we're basically on the four yard line right now. That wall right there, that wall that I highlighted, they're on the two now. This this guy right here, his foot is on the one. He was easily, you know, jump cut and faked him out. But this right here is what we want to see more of. And hopefully it'll be, it'll come sooner rather than later. Hopefully it'll come sooner rather than later. 
It's the whole package on display right here. First, you got the patience. Got the patience. Got the vision. Now you got the explosion. And you even got a little stiff form in there. That's the total package right there. You got the patience, you got the vision, you got the little steel form, then you got the explosion. Patience to let the blocking develop. Try because you really want to get a hat on a hat. You want to get one, my bad. One, 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 and one. So once they get a hat on a hat, you just gotta find the soft spot. And they sorting it out right now. Because now there, 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 there. This guy's not blocked yet, but that's what records there for. And it's all sorted out now. Everybody got a head on the head. Even whoever this is coming in and trying to get a block. Look at that vision. Just fit through there. Coming off Dez Brown block. Now let's still form for the one guy that kind of had a chance. Right there. And now let me outrun everybody. That's putting it all together right here. But I, want, I do want to go back and see a little comedy on this play before we get out of here. Show you a little comedy on this play that I thought was funny. Lock in on this guy right here, Snoop Huntley. Watch Snoop. Snoop got them burners too. <laughs> he running past everybody else. <laughs> I thought that was funny. You may not think it's funny, but hey, I appreciate you guys for coming through, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you like what you saw. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys, man. And until next time, peace.